What if everything you thought was pro was just the beginning? What if the best adventure watch on the market, the one strapped to the wrists of climbers, divers, and elite athletes was actually just a test, a beta program? You're looking at the Apple Watch Ultra 2. It's tough. It's capable. It's the king of the mountain. We all love it. But let's be honest. It's also safe. It's an iteration. A fantastic one, sure. But it's not a revolution. It's the perfection of an old idea. What if Apple has been playing a different game? What if the Ultra 1 and 2 were just collecting data, learning what we really need when we're pushing the limits, all to build the one thing we've actually been waiting for? Forget Pro. Forget mocks. Think inevitable. This isn't a product leak. This is a look at the future Apple is being forced to build. This is the story of the Apple Watch Ultra 4. To understand what's coming, you have to understand the pressure Apple is under. Look at the competition. Garmin isn't just making watches. They're making scientific instruments. Their Enduro and Phoenix lines are measuring things Apple hasn't even dreamed of yet. Solar charging that actually works. Mapping that can get you off a glacier. Battery life measured in weeks, not days. Samsung is throwing everything at the wall, integrating with a massive smart home ecosystem. And the enthusiast community, the real adventurers, they're ruthless. They see the current Ultra as a starter adventure watch. A beautiful, expensive, very capable starter watch. Apple hates this. Apple doesn't start. Apple finishes. So what does the finish line look like? What does the Ultra 4 do that makes the Ultra 2 look like a toy? It starts with the one thing that limits every single one of us. Our own biology. Right now, your watch tracks your heart rate. Big deal. It tracks your blood oxygen. Okay. But it's reactive. It tells you what happened. It doesn't tell you what's about to happen. The Apple Watch Ultra 4 isn't a tracker. It's a co-pilot. We're talking about the rumored BHA sensor. The bioadaptive homeostasis sensor. This isn't just shining a light on your skin. This is a multi-spectrum analysis system. We're talking non-invasive blood glucose monitoring. Finally, no more pricks. Just a constant, real-time data stream of your body's fuel. Imagine you're on mile 20 of a marathon. You think you're fine, but the Ultra 4 knows you're 15 minutes away from bonking, from hitting the wall. And it doesn't just send you a, hey, you should eat notification. It talks to you. John, your glycogen levels are dropping 30% faster than your last run. You need to consume 20 grams of carbohydrates in the next three minutes to maintain your target pace. This changes everything, but it goes deeper. The BHA sensor is rumored to track hydration levels in real time, not by guessing, but by actually measuring the conductivity of your interstitial fluid. You're on a multi-day hike. You feel thirsty, but are you dangerously dehydrated? The watch knows. Your hydration is at critical levels. Your core temperature is rising. Stop, find shade, and drink at least 500 milliliters of water now. It's not just a watch. It's a physiologist on your wrist. It's a coach that actually knows you. And this new AI-driven coach is not the Siri we know. This is an on-device large language model trained specifically on you. It learns your sleep patterns, your stress responses, your workout recovery. It doesn't just give you a readiness score like Garmin. It gives you a plan. Your sleep was poor. REM sleep was down 40%. I detect elevated cortisol levels. I've modified your training plan for today. We're swapping your high-intensity interval run with a 45-minute zone 2 recovery jog. Let's focus on rebuilding. This is the end of junk miles. This is the end of overtraining. This is personalized performance at a level no human coach could ever provide. That, that is the new frontier. And that's just feature number one. But all that tech is useless if it's dead. The number one complaint. The Achilles heel of the Apple Watch Ultra. Battery. Oh, it lasts three days. Three days? A Garmin Phoenix lasts 30 days. Apple knows this. And they're not going to solve it by just stuffing in a bigger battery. That's a brute force solution. Apple's solution is elegant. And it's twofold. First, the rumor's a new adaptive frame chassis. It's not just titanium. We're talking about a composite. A micro lattice structure. Think liquid metal alloys mixed with carbon fiber. A material that is 40% lighter, but twice as strong as the current grade 5 titanium. Why does this matter? 
It's about space. A lighter, stronger frame means more internal volume. More room for the second part of the solution, the stacked microcell battery. Instead of one single block, Apple is reportedly using technology from its car project. Thin, stacked layers of battery cells, interwoven with a new S10 chip. This new architecture creates 30% more power density in the same footprint. But here's the real game changer. The screen. The Ultra 2 has a beautiful micro LED screen. The Ultra 4, it won't just show light. It will collect it. We've all seen those solar watches from the competition. They got that ugly little ring around the display, right? It barely adds a few hours. It's a gimmick. Apple's patent isn't for a solar ring. It's for a transparent photovoltaic layer under the sapphire crystal. The entire watch face is a solar panel. Not just solar. It's an ambient light collector. It pulls power from the sun. It pulls power from the lights in your office. It's always charging. So what's the new battery life? Apple will never claim unlimited. But what if they said this? The Apple Watch Ultra 4 never needs to be charged during a 100-mile ultramarathon. What if they said, with average outdoor exposure, the Ultra 4 has a 20-day battery life? Now, now are you listening, Garmin? A watch that is smarter than a human coach, built from materials tougher than steel, and a battery that finally, finally lets you forget the charger. But there's one more thing. One final piece of the puzzle that makes this not just a watch, but a lifeline. You know about emergency SOS via satellite. It's incredible technology. It saves lives, but it's slow. You have to point it at the sky. You send a tiny, compressed text message. It's for emergencies only. The Ultra 4 redefines connectivity. Apple isn't just using one satellite network. They're building a multi-constellation modem. It talks to Global Star. It talks to Iridium. It talks to the new Starlink satellites. This isn't emergency SOS. This is Global Link. You're in the middle of the Pacific on a sailboat. No cell service for a thousand miles. You raise your wrist. Send message to Sarah. Cross the equator. All is well. See you in Fiji. And it sends. As a full iMessage. You're climbing Denali. Your climbing partner is in another tent 100 meters away. You don't need a walkie-talkie. You just use the new off-grid mesh feature, a direct, encrypted, watch-to-watch -watch communication link. But the real revolution? It's what happens when you combine Global Link with a new AI. Imagine you're lost, truly lost, off-trail, bad weather, zero visibility. You press and hold the action button. Global Link activated. I am accessing topographic satellite data for your exact coordinates. I am cross-referencing this with the 3D map data preloaded on your device. Your last known trail is 2.3 miles northeast. There is a sheer drop-off 400 meters ahead of you. Stop. Turn 30 degrees to your left and proceed for 500 meters to find the safest route to the riverbed. This isn't a map. This is a guide. A real-time, all-knowing guide that works anywhere on planet Earth. It's downloading real-time weather data from satellite while monitoring your internal body temperature, while calculating the safest route back to civilization. Think about that. This isn't a device for adventurers. This is the device that enables adventure. It's the device that gives you permission to go further, to push harder, knowing you have a guardian angel on your wrist. So, let's put it all together. A watch that knows you're getting sick before you do. A watch that knows you're about to bonk in a race and tells you exactly what to eat. A watch built from materials lighter and stronger than anything you've ever worn that charges itself from the sun. And a watch that can guide you out of the darkest, most remote corner of the earth. The current Apple Watch Ultra 2, it's a companion. It shows you the path. The Apple Watch Ultra 4, it clears the path. It is the path. This is the device that Apple has been building towards for a decade. All the chips, all the sensors, all the software, it's all been leading to this. This is the watch that W. On just track your run. It will save your life. The only question left is, will it be called the Ultra 4? Or will Apple finally give it the name it deserves? The Apple Watch. Guardian. What we just talked about. This isn't fantasy. These are the logical next steps. These are the problems Apple must solve to win the war for your wrist. Non invasive glucose. Multi-week battery. True satellite communication. 
These are the three pillars of the next revolution. And Apple, they're not just building a watch. They're building a new category of human-machine integration, a device that's less tech, and more. You. The rumors are swirling. The patents are filed. The competition is scrambling. The Apple Watch Ultra 4 is coming. And it's not just going to set a new standard. It's going to make everything else obsolete. What do you think? What's the one feature you need to see? Is it the battery? The AI coach? Or is it something else entirely? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. And if you want to be the first to know when the next piece of the puzzle drops, you know what to do. This is the future. And we're just getting started.